Over and over, time and time again, the Lord through his servant, Prophet Joel Lutuka, has revealed countless impactful global and local events way before they take place. The servant of God who is a conduit used in the kingdom of God has devotedly stood in his prophetic office to deliver God's message to his people. The recent and ongoing global conflicts were not an exception. On February 27, 2022, during a Sunday service, Prophet Joel Lutuka spoke on a new yet inevitable dispensation that the world was going to enter into which involved a season of fights and disagreements. At the time of this prophecy, the COVID-19 restrictions were still active and wearing of masks was still mandatory in Kenya and other countries. Pay close attention to the delivery of this message. We have entered into a new chapter in the world. As a sign you see, the pandemic stuff will start ceasing. La pandémie du corona va cesser. There is time coming that they are going to tell you mask is no longer needed. Il y aura un temps qui vient, on vous dira que le masque, on n'en aura plus besoin. But here it is. Mais écoutez ceci. It is an entrance to a new chapter. C'est l'entrée d'un nouveau chapitre. Now, this Alors, new chapter. C'est un nouveau chapitre. Is not the chapter of disagreement. Ce n'est pas le chapitre de désaccord. In another word, en d'autres termes, fight. Le combat, la guerre. Twelve days after this service, on March 11, 2022, the government of Kenya lifted the mandatory public wearing of masks. Other countries across the world had already started lifting COVID-19 restrictions. Amli ya kutoa ya kuvaa balakoa, nje wakati watu anatembea. Kwa mitaani, ama wakati wako inje, si lazima. After many months of the pandemic being on a downward trend, the World Health Organization's chief declared the end of the COVID-19 as a global health emergency on the 5th of May 2023. It's therefore with great hope that I declare COVID-19 over as a global health emergency. Remember, the Prophet of God had announced that this development marked the beginning of a new chapter. Listen again. It is an entrance to a new chapter. C'est l'entrée d'un nouveau chapitre. Now, this new chapter, c'est nouveau chapitre, is not the chapter of disagreement. Ce n'est pas le chapitre de désaccord. In another word, en d'autres termes, fight. Le combat, la guerre. As prophesied, various conflicts have erupted with the most recent happenings over the past week where Israel declared war on Hamas following an unprecedented wide-scale attack. We begin tonight with the Middle East in flames. Israel has formally declared war after that unprecedented multi-pronged terror attack from Hamas, shocking the nation, catching its intelligence service by surprise. The death toll is mounting and at least 100 taken hostage. Several Americans are now confirmed to be among the dead. Starting at dawn yesterday, Hamas lobbed thousands of rockets from Gaza toward Israel. Armed militants breaching border crossings, gunning down soldiers and civilians. Neighborhoods in flames, homes and cars destroyed, more than 700 killed in Israel, more than 260 mostly young people killed at a music festival. A couple at that festival among the hostages, the woman taken away on a motorcycle, her boyfriend marched away by two men. Israel retaliating with airstrikes on Gaza, more than 400 dead in the territory. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu warns there is a long and difficult war ahead. <laughs> As the church, this is a time to keep pressing in prayer for peace and stability around the world, as well as for sound leadership in our governments.